Yes, my, my work basically, I'm, I'm using technology. I'm using computer, algorithm, software. And I use this technology to create excessive amount of data, excessive amount of information. And from this excessive amount of, of things that are happening, um, some unexpectedness happens, some visual form, some surprise uh, appears. And this is my material. This is what I work with. And I, I use these uh, this, uh, mistakes, these noises, this uh, unexpectedness to create shapes and to create viewing experience. And uh, the viewing experience, I like to play a lot with the viewer. So I like to, to emphasize on different and uh, multiple viewpoints and, uh, and play with the viewer so that well, what he see is not actually what, what is in the piece. And, and uh, there are different uh, um, uh, level of, uh, of, uh, of a meaning that may be opposite, um, but also that they create a, a new way of, uh, of, uh, of experiencing the, the, the artwork. Well, my, my true background is painting. I'm really a painter and I started painting uh, when I was a teenager and starting also to show my work and, and uh, um, I was really um, doing, a, um, let's say, a really f uh, enjoying painting as a, as a medium itself, enjoying making my own paint, enjoying the brush stroke, the, uh, working with the canvas and so on. But at one point I felt uh, a bit stuck with the uh, with what I wanted to say, what I could say, especially looking at all the, the global uh, painting history that is so, so big, so heavy, and uh, the feeling that basically everything has been done. And it was just by chance I encountered the, um, the, 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 the fractal algorithm, which is uh, just um, um, a simple way to describe an, an operation, but that's very simple, create totally unexpected uh, world. And, uh, and for me, that was a big shock. And I said, this is it. This is, this is, what, this is the tool I need to, to develop, to explore something new, to create new shape, and to, have, to be in control and not in control. This is a big part of my work. Also, I control some part. I don't control some other part. I let things happen. So I play with the control and control. One behind me, it's called irrational geometric. It looks like a line in, in random colors. Actually, it's not lines, it's curves. And uh, well, what it is, is actually curves that are stretched excessively until there are so much stress that you, don't, you can hardly see the curve. So um, I like to play with that shape because it, it's, it's working on a false binary issue. It looks like a straight line, but actually it's a curve. It's related a lot, it tells a lot of story with the human mankind that you can find in many, many uh, uh, cultures. So it could be, for example, for the Greek philosophy, the, the idea of the clean amen in, in Lucretius. It could be the squarification of the circle that you have in the Middle Age philosophy. It could be Einstein. It could be the new string theory of you know, quantum uh, mechanism. But also it relates to fundamental human beliefs. And um, this technique actually I'm using is a, is a lenticular. It's an optical material. And um, I'm using it uh, not to create 3D experience, but to create some kind of animation experience, but at the same time, because there is too much information, there is a lot of mistakes and, and unexpectedness that, are, that, that is appearing from the material. The other piece is called post-digital surface. Um, what I'm really producing there is just monochrome, so monochrome of simple color, so um, red, blue, yellow, black, white, but in, in an excessive way, and there is too much information that actually the material react to this excessive amount of data by creating some kind of accidental structure. In that case, the accidental structure are, are lines. Um, but what interests me in, in, in that series is that the lines are only visible at a certain distance. If you get close to the piece, they all disappear. So you don't know what you are actually seeing. Also, the color change, the color intensity. Um, some color are not the one that I program. So they emerge just from the process. So I'm, I'm, I'm using computers, algorithms, technology, but my work is not a celebration of the, of the technology. I, I have a critical distance between uh, the technology and my work. The critical distance, I'm not using the, the tools the way, they are, the way they are sold to be, the way they're intended to be. Like this material I'm using are intended to be beautiful 3D poster. I'm not at all doing 3D. I'm using them in a different way. I'm using the computer just to do simple things, like uh, uh, repeat a line one million times. And, and that's, um, that, that creates a critical distance with the, 
with the technology because what I like to do is take the technology to a point that is basically out of control, that is becoming irrational, and that the technology at, at, at the end uh, allow you to create experiences that are fundamental to the human being and that talk about uh, like um, life and death. So this is, this is basically my process, uh, a hyper-utilization of technology to go back to more primitive and irrational uh, experience.